Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, welcome to my another playlist where I'm going to cover each and everything about React.js. And uh, yesterday I put a poll on my YouTube channel that what should I cover. And I found out that uh, React.js is something which is missing from my channel. I mean the latest update which has been done on React.js. So I plan to cover a whole playlist on React.js. So I will be publishing different set of videos on React.js. One playlist is all about everything about React.js. Then another playlist I will be talking about uh, React.js hooks, context APIs, then React.js testing, React with Redux and one playlist which will be talking about the demo applications, how to write uh, React.js code to write the POC applications like blogging application, shopping cart application or restaurant swiggy kind of application or a Netflix clone application. All these things we are planning to cover. Okay, so this is the first video of this whole series and what I'm trying to cover in this video is what is my course agenda for this whole training, what all content I will be covering. So approximately what I'm thinking is it should it is going to be uh, 30 hours of course and it will it will take a long time for me to cover these topics also. So I already have some content ready so I will be using that content and will make this course as soon as uh, possible. I mean I will make I will try to make this available for you as soon as possible. Okay. Now coming to the agenda. A detailed agenda is in the PDF which I will share with you but if you talk about the core what we are going to look into this whole playlist which will be divided into the different sections first is the crash course which is basics then we will write a simple application then we will talk about react with the class based component functional component before that we will talk about react.js lifecycle hooks uh, higher order components there were some lifecycle methods earlier in the 15.x. Now we have a new set of lifecycle methods that I will be covering. Then we will talk about React.js hooks and context APIs. How they are making the functional component more powerful, same as class-based class, class -based component. Then we will talk about how we can manage the state in the functional component without using Redux. Then we will talk about how the React class-based component is using Redux with this immutability then as GraphQL is evolving day by day right we will see how you can do integration of react react js component with the rest apis or GraphQL apis we will take a look on the uh, we will take a look on to the apollo client how we can integrate apollo client for GraphQL with the react js and in this whole series i'm going to cover lot many applications like blogging application, material dashboard, react logging, register, uh, react flicker app, swiggy app or we will also cover a uh, netflix clone or, or a swiggy clone, a shopping cart application. From all these different set of applications it will be very easy for you to understand the react concepts, how the state works, how the props, props works, how we can manage the state of the react components. Okay, These all things we are going to build. Finally, we will come to the testing part, how we can do the testing of our React component using Jest and how we can do end-to-end -end testing of React component with a Cypress. So this whole playlist is actually divided into different things. First is a React crash course, then React with Redux, then React with Apollo client to consume the GraphQL queries. Before that, we will already have talked already discussed about React with REST API integration. Okay. Now coming to like is React.js is the right candidate for you to build the application? Yes, React.js is currently most popular. It is leading on the age of frameworks if you talk about Angular, Vue.js, React. React is still on the verge. It is taking a lot of attention attentions from the developers and it is getting a lot of uh, projects onboarded with it. Okay, we can write micro frontend. React can be used for complex UI driven application and React Native is already there using which you can write native application in JavaScript. Okay, so we have we have a long path to go. I'm going to cover a lot of things in React. I already have a hundred plus videos playlist on React. But what happens now with the recent change in the React? 
where we see the React hooks, React context APIs, lazy loading, React router changes, React with Redux, other state uh, state management techniques. So a lot of new things has came since last one and a half year. So that playlist is still valid, but I wanted to cover a new whole playlist where we can cover each and every aspects about React. Primary, my focus will be on the functional component, how to write functional component, React hooks, React context APIs, because and the new lifecycle methods we have. People are still struggling to understand what these new lifecycle methods are, how to better understand them, how to properly write them, and what to do with the lifecycle methods we had earlier when you are doing migration. Okay, so let's get started from the first video. Now, if you see the course content, I will not be just jumping onto the create react app for react. Okay, I'm expecting that you already have the basic HTML and JavaScript knowledge that will help me to build on top of that. You should already have a JavaScript knowledge because coming without the knowledge of JavaScript will not help, will not be helpful. So you should have an intermediate level of JavaScript knowledge and don't jump to these frameworks without getting in-depth knowledge of the JavaScript core because it will not be helpful. You can learn Angular, React, Vue.js but if you don't have the core understanding of JavaScript, you will not be able to understand the deep down, deep down concepts of these different React APIs which we are going to talk about. Okay, uh, thanks everyone. Let's get started with React. 